going for viewing this. I opened some of it, and I did not get. I only got these today. Let's see what's so. Let's open the blind bag. And I did open one already. Okay, now I opened it. Oh man! Oh, I got a gray Spartan, which is the. Not yet, I'm in my video right now.
tears I got from the blind bags. That's that. Okay, to the bill.
Sanders, WCW, and history would be it when Hulk Hogan joined the Eric Sanders and the New World Order was born. And so Kevin Nash and Scott Hall had ushered in a new era for WCW, an era based on Eric Bischoff's vision, and an era that changed the course of professional wrestling itself. I don't think I need to explain how important the New World Order was to wrestling in the 90s. The Outsiders would become one of WCW's most successful tag teams, capturing the tag title six times while gaining a huge fan following, thanks to how WCW presented the New World Order and its crew villain. After some time, Shawn Michaels and Triple H formed their own tag team that, when you think about it, really did have a lot of similarities when comparing to the Outsiders. Both teams included members of the clique, both teams were hated but they got cheered for being rebellious, and both teams used their backstage strokes to further their own standing within the company. People today call this a bad thing, and maybe it is, but when you talk about producing results, setting legitimate trends and breaking new ground, well, both the Outsiders and the original D-Generation Act don't all the Outsiders, however, maybe struggled with longevity, but that's something we can look at in another video. Something I did take away here, though, when watching this all back, was how WCW completely altered their presentation when Hall and Nash would make appearances, just to make it feel real. I watch a lot of old WCW Nigel episodes, and these things may appear subtle to your average viewer, but commentators would immediately change their tone when talking about Hall and Nash. Pre-recorded videos about completely unassociated wrestlers would end abruptly if the outsiders made an appearance. WCW even used camera angles that were never used before when Hall and Nash showed up. We saw more of the arena, we saw things that weren't part of the regular broadcast, and these subtle changes made a huge difference. Look out for this if you decide to go back and relive this time period in WCW. I 
coasting along and collecting garden tape money. To put it in perspective, Kevin told him with the Hulk Hogan agent, Peter Young, cried, actually cried, on the phone to him until 2 30 in the morning that WCW should not and could not turn Hulk Hogan. Some people 